Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Logical Journey of the Zumbini. So we're continuing with our Allergic Cliff Solutions. Today we're going back to the Oso Hard Rank, but we're going to use our Heuristic Solution that we found in the first difficulty rank of this level, and tweaking it a little bit so it'll work for this one. So here it is a little bit more like the Algorithmic Solution. There is a little bit of trial and error involved, but we can narrow down the traits a lot easier. So essentially, we're looking for traits that will evenly divide these two cliffs because what the game tries to do is essentially pick two traits of the same type that when divided up will split your zumbini group into roughly two equal groups so ideally the game wants to put eight zumbinis this way and then eight zumbinis this way if at all possible and again the algorithmic solution doesn't take that into effect because that's not actually listed in the help set so let's start by nose color because that seems pretty easy we've got four blue noses we have six orange noses. We have three purple noses, two green noses, and a red nose. So right off the bat, I'm guessing green noses and orange noses will go in the same place. That's my first theory. And it's always annoying when you accidentally put them on the wrong cliff. Right. So if my hypothesis is correct, green noses and orange noses will go on the top, and then everyone else will go on the bottom. Alright, that was not the case. So by that logic, I have to go back to the drawing board. So we do have four Zumbinis with blue noses. Now here's the thing. It could have been other traits that were causing the allergic reaction. It could have been feet, or it also could have been eyes. So let's look at the feet. If we got the springs down there, there'll be three springs down there. Then with bicycles, there'll be one, two, three bicycles up there, and then one, two, three, four with roller skates. So there'll be three springs down there, and then three, four, five, six. Let's see. Three, four, five, six. I don't think it's feet, that wouldn't evenly divide the group. If we have cyclopses up there, we would have one, two, two cyclopses, and then with glasses, one, two, three, four up there. Whereas the sleepy eyes would have one, two, three, four? I'm guessing it's sleepy eyes down here. Yep. So it's divided by eyes. All right, so now looking at this, we can actually determine which trait will go where, because we've got two sunglasses and then three normal eyes. Up here, we have six, and down here, we have five, which means that if we put the normal-eyed guys up here, there would be nine zoominis up there, and then that means the sunglasses would have to go down here, which would leave seven zoominis. Group of nine and seven, that isn't really equal. Whereas if we put the sunglasses up here and the normal eyes down there, that would be eight on each side. The game really likes having eight zoominis on each side, so, glasses are, sunglasses are going up here, normal eyes are going down there. And as you can see, we beat the level with only losing two pegs, and we only lost one peg because we got unlucky at the beginning and put the first Zumbini on the wrong bridge. Exceptionally well. So if you didn't follow that, we're going to do it again, don't worry. Alright, okay, right off the bat I'm noticing a lot of Cyclopses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine Cyclopses, so right off the bat, we can rule out eyes playing a role in the solution. How about hair? We've got one, two, three, four, five Zumbinis with spiky hair. One, two, only two with a bowl cut. One, two, three, four, one, two, f All right, my guess, spiky hair guys and green hat hairs can go on the same bridge. My personal hypothesis. That's just what I'm noticing. So if my hypothesis is correct... Okay, hypothesis was incorrect. So we've got five spiky-haired uh, guys over there. Oh, I see. I see. It's actually the other way around, because we've got three green head hairs down here, and then we've also got one, two, three, four, five ponytails. So it's green head hairs and ponytails on this bridge. 
and then every other hair up there, and that still divides the group evenly by eight on each bridge. So it's more or less the same as the algorithmic solution, you're just taking you into account that the game will, you if at all possible, all. put eight Zumbinis on each bridge. And that's essentially how the algorithm determines which traits to use. Now, I'm not saying it will always cause eight Zumbinis on each bridge, but if it's at all possible to pick two traits from a given, or two styles from a given trait that will divide the a group evenly by eight on each bridge, it will do that. It will only have nine on one side and seven on another, or an, um, an imbalance if it's literally impossible to take two styles of a given trait to divide the Zumbinis by eight on each bridge. One more time, with feeling. All right, one, two, three, four, five spiky-haired guys. One, two, three, four balds. One, two. One, two ponytails. Actually, three balds. All right, how about spiky-haired guys and bald heads on the same bridge? I also tend to be very unlucky in always choosing the wrong bridge to start. Okay! So it's not hair that's dividing them. What else could divide them? Let's see, blue noses, or in red noses, one, two, three, four red noses at that side, one, two, three, four blue, five blue noses on that side. We've also got three purple noses, so let's try blue noses on this bridge. Okay, not blue noses on that bridge. When you've got a lot of traits that divide the group evenly by into eight on each side, it can be tricky to figure out. All right, so it's either eyes or feet. Either way, that guy can go on that bridge. 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 All right, so we got five guys on this side. So assuming it is by feet and sprains and bicycles can go on that side, there's only one bicycle guy left, which will essentially leave them with six. Roller skating guys can go up here. That'll leave them with five, followed by three propellers. Okay, I'm going to go on a women's state to roller skates. So I'll go up here, and propellers go up here. Sure enough, it was feet that divided them that time. So the the, the heuristic here is not necessarily foolproof, and it's not going to give you perfect games like it can do on the first difficulty. But it's still very good, and it will really help you in the long run just to know that eight Zumbinis will be on each bridge. And that'll really help you narrow down the traits. Alright, so that's the heuristic solution for the Allergic Cliffs on Oh So Hard. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you again. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.